Madame Danton, the prefect of police. Madame Danton, you are the widow of a hero. Your husband, as a member of the French police, served secretly. He died pursuing his secret duties. Now he is resting secretly. The surety cannot hold its parades on the boulevard. It must parade in the catacombs of crime. Brigadier Georges Danton, in the name of the Republic of France, I decorate you with the cross of the Legion of Honor. Madame. Madame Danton, please don't think that my request is ill-timed. But will you allow the surety to care for this decoration until your husband's murder has been avenged by the guillotine? Ready now, Monsieur Sancia. Thank you. Cigarette ashes found near the body of Brigadier Danton, Vini test, laboratory, serial, 4A. Excuse me. Manchuria leaf, high narcotic content, Georgian paper. Well, that seems to cover the cigarette ash situation pretty well. Sold Paris Agency, Cafe Cosmopole. Also sold in Monte Carlo, Constantinople, Berlin, and London under Shah Persia brand. Yeah, here we are. Cafe Cosmopole. 47 Rue de Garon. Proprietress Cecile Ronda. Alias Madame La Propre. Uh -huh. See what you can get out of Madame La Prop. All right, sir. She doesn't like the police. Oh, a woman of rare judgment. Love it, Madame La Propre. I have an appointment with my banker. Tell you, Janie, that I'll meet. Oh, uh, what can I do for you, Valerie? Cigarettes, please. Oh, the same kind. Please. Now, uh, what do you want me to tell you, Janie? Tell her that I'll meet her here at 7.30. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Leo. Why? Janie looks tired. She sells flowers all the evening, and you keep her out all night. Eugenie doesn't complain. <laughs> Cigarettes! What kind? Mind your own business. I want a sharp version. Twenty francs, please. Twenty uh, uh, francs. Whatever his name is, bought a box of those, he bought them for firecrackers. <laughs> 
And I won't pay 20 bank for firecracker. I want my money back or I'll set off the whole box right in the store. The man's drunk and a nuisance. I may be drunk, but this is the nuisance. Come along with me. I got... Huh? But who is... Uh, I'm usually not a very particular man. But 20 francs for firecrackers? Here, yeah, you like one. Well, you see, even he doesn't like them. And if the policemen don't like them, they're worse than I thought. I got... Uh, wait. Take him home. Keep a lookout for Baron Longsword. When he shows up, phone the shorts at once. Firecrackers! The flower girl will be at Cafe Cosmopol at 7.30. Yes, I'll wear the chauffeur's uniform. Very good, Lomzoi. 7.30. Cafe Cosmopol. I want to send the cable. His Highness Grand Duke Maxim, Hotel Savoy, London. Please come at once. Princess Anastasia has been found. Signed, General Han Molov. Thank you. Go after the princess. Baron Lomzoi will drive you. Give him this. You know what to do. I am in terrible trouble. What? I have a rendezvous with the most beautiful girl in Paris. <laughs> is this trouble? <laughs> ah, but she is very beautiful. Well... <laughs> Wouldn't it be terrible if I were late? Yeah, it would. <laughs> and then again, being a man of the world, wouldn't it be more terrible if I were ahead of time? No, am I right? Yeah. Then in short, could you tell me if it is 7.30 yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see? You got plenty of time, huh? <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, a thousand pounds, a thousand pounds. <laughs> Tell you, Jamie, I'm here. Leon Reynolds, someday you'll go too far. I promise. Camellias, <laughs> lilies of the valley, gardenias. Camellias, lilies of the valley, gardenias. To the second. What are you doing? Nothing. What is it? What have you got there? I'm surprised for you, darling. What is it? It's lovely. And just what I need. Where'd you get the money? Selling gardenias. And how many million would you have to sell to get a watch like this? Only two little gardenias. Eugenie, there isn't some other man that... Leon, you aren't jealous. Not at all. 
it, darling. Last night, a gentleman bought a gardenia for five francs. And a minute later, he came back and looked at me in the strangest way. Then he dropped a hundred franc note on my tray. Eugenie, are you trying to make me believe a man gave you all that money for a few gardenias? You've been out with him. Leon, you don't believe that. Leon. Oh, Eugenie, jealousy is a terrible thing. I like you to be jealous. I ought to be ashamed of myself. Will you forgive me? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene. Hello, Father. Sit down, old man. Have a bite with us. I told you to keep away from my daughter. Please, Father. Eugene, come with me. I'll take care of her. You've done my girl enough harm. Eugene, he'll have you on the streets. If you were a younger man, I'd... Please leave me out. I'll meet you in front of the opera. I'm going to stay right here until... In front of the opera at 11. Sherry and a row eight. And hurry, have to get straight. I have no one else in the world. I haven't seen you for days. Come home tonight, won't you? I will. I promise. I'll see you at home, Father. Camellia, will you come to Valley? Sardine. Bonia. Yes, Monsieur. There she is. Don't be alarmed, Monsieur Durand. I took the liberty of waiting for you. Who are you? What do you want here? I've come here to find out about a girl you claim is your daughter. She is my daughter. Don't try lying to me. I know your record. But I know your record. Where did you find this girl? She couldn't even walk when I got her. I brought her up. I couldn't love my own flesh and blood more. 
But what is it to you? Who is Eugenie? Who is she? A war orphan from Moscow. We can prove that. Only my poor friend, Georges Danton. He was an officer and put the child in my arms. But he was murdered a few days ago. Only Danton and yourself? The light hurts my eyes. You don't mind. Ah! What time did Eugenie get in? She isn't here. She hasn't been home at all? Not tonight. That's funny. Madame Danton, to have had to trouble you at this time. But the identification of Dorin as a friend of your husband's was of extreme importance. I understand. Thank you. The crime of passion is never a mystery. Leon Renault's head is practically in the guillotine now. Yeah, a natural conclusion, but I don't agree. Have you noticed the overdevelopment of the left hand? A left-handed man doesn't dip his finger in blood and write with his right hand. Yeah. Careful. The windpipe is completely severed. Death was instantaneous. Someone wanted to kill two birds with one stone. Whoever murdered Anton Dorin wanted to get rid of Leon Renault. However, that's only a theory. Bring Reynolds in here. Wait a minute. Cover the corpse. What is it? What's the matter? You'll find out soon enough. Reynolds? I want to warn you that anything you may say will be used against you. Well, I understand all that, but suppose we get to the point. You're accused of the murder of Anton Dorin. Dorin? Where's Eugenie? Her disappearance makes it look bad for her, too. Oh, don't be absurd. Absurd? Why, that girl wouldn't harm a fly. Why, she's a saint. A saint is the sweetheart I'll of a... I'll finish it for you. The saint is a sweetheart of a thief, but not a murderer. Take him to Sante Prison and hold him until further orders. I'm not lying. I didn't do it. Just a minute. Suppose we give you a chance to prove your innocence. As a thief, you have access to dives not exactly hospitable to the police. I'm not a stool pigeon. I know. I'm merely asking you to clear yourself if you're innocent. And also your sweetheart. Well? It's a pleasure, under the circumstances. You may go. And when will I have the honor of meeting my co-workers again? You'll be surprised. Before you leave, I'd like to ask you one thing. Why does a fellow like you go in for thievery? Well, my father's body is part of the fortifications at Verdun. My brother's body is lie at the Marne. I have a few scratches myself. The world owes me a living. Uh, the world, but not France. Meaning precisely? I'm very patriotic. I never rob Frenchmen.
Cheekbone, classification A1R. Alpine type chin, 114A. Aryan type I right, classification R10. Nose, aquiline, Nordic, 17A. Lip, lower, Slavic type, 15A. But there are no pictures of you, Jamie. How did you... This is a spoken portrait. In a case where no photograph exists, we make one up from carefully checked descriptions. Not bad. Quite a bit like her. Well, that's fine. Wait for me in my office. I want you to note these features carefully. Find Eugenie Dovin. She's the key to the Dovin murder. Transmit spoken portrait to all undercover operatives. Check all hospitals, institutions, morgues, and borders. You'll be supplied with a facsimile on your way out. That'll do. Well, how's everything going? Oh, everything's practically done, except for finding the murderer. Hmm? <laughs> Princess. Princess Anastasia. Open your eyes. It's all coming back to you. It's all coming back to you. Your memory today is much clearer than it was yesterday. Remember the day your father and mother were killed. The guards didn't even let you dress. They ordered you to the cellar. Remember Princess? Yes. Who was there? My father. The Tsar. The Tsar. Who else? My mother. Who else? My sisters. Who else? And soldiers. They drove all of you into a corner. You can see them raising their guns, firing. Your father went down first. Then your mother. Please don't make me say it again. Your eldest sister fell over you. What did you see? Death! Death! You are dead! <laughs> Rest now, princess. I believe her to be the lawful claimant to the throne of Russia. She has all the facial characteristics of a Romanov. She knows secrets which only a member of the royal family could know. We have found the missing daughter of the late Tsar. Rossi, see! Long live Princess Anastasia!
I understand there's another claimant in Berlin. Yes, but the Minister of Foreign Affairs is getting anxious about this one. This sort of thing is apt to become political and financial. It isn't such a bad business being the Princess Anastasia. Look at this. There is a lot of money involved. <laughs> and here's another little nest egg in London. B-12 and K-31 are at work on the Anastasia case. A-16 reports no progress on the Eugenie Dorain case. A-21 reports Leon Reynolds sincerely cooperating with police to find girl. <laughs> and wants instructions whether to arrest said Reynolds. <laughs> While heartily cooperating with the police, Reynold has been collecting other people's jewelry. We'll deal with that later on. Well, the Sherberg Bank case has been solved. Dupre's confessed. Uh, here's something interesting. The court has been petitioned to appoint a guardian for Princess Anastasia, General Moloff. Guardian for the princess. And a little over a million pounds in the London bank. You don't think by any chance that a million pounds might be of interest to General Moloff? Come in. War Office confidential dossier contains this information concerning General Moloff. Extremely magnetic personality, lives extravagantly, source of wealth unknown, mother Manchu princess, father Russian nobleman, Trace of insanity on father's side. Incidentally, a charming fellow, this Moloff. Paris gowns won't change that street girl into a royal princess. I have royal blood. I should impersonate Anastasia, not that flower girl. Tani, you are becoming tires. I've studied hundreds of faces and I found only one who is a perfect hypnotic subject and who also looks like a Romanov. But that girl can't stand the strain while she'll lose her mind. Well, if she does, then her guardian will rule Russia as region. But you must realize too many people know her. Not as many as you think. A few have died. Identification is going to be difficult the way his face is bashed in. The corpse can't be identified, but there's very little doubt that it's Lumsoy. Oh, by the way, I have Renault outside. He knew the band, too. Here's a little souvenir of their acquaintance. Hmm, Chinese. Rare ancient jade. Reynolds seems to be quite a collector. Oh, there's no doubt about that. K-31 reporting. K-31 reports she tried to get in Moloff's chateau, but the place was so heavily guarded it was impossible. She caught a glimpse of the princess whose profile, cheekbone, and chin line resemble the classifications of Eugenie Dorin. I'd like to know what's going on in that chateau. I don't suppose we have any right to go in that place. On the other hand, a burglar has, shall we say, poetic license. Won't you sit down? Reynolds, how would you like to... You forget, I never rob Frenchmen. It's just a matter of form. How would you like to exercise those rare talents of yours poetically? At your service. We want to find out what's going on in a certain chateau at this address. In particular, we want you to look for a girl. You may find that she bears a slight resemblance to someone very dear to you. You mean Eugenie? 
I must warn you that the place is heavily guarded. Pardon me. I wouldn't advise your trying to enter before midnight. I won't insult your intelligence by suggesting how to enter a house. Good afternoon. Camellias. Lilies of the valley. Gardenias. Princess. Princess Anastasia. His Excellency, the Count de Marseille. Your Imperial Highness. General Muller, allow me to present Count de Marseille. Delighted. I am honored. I shall inform the Princess of your arrival. Your Highness. Go, Maxine. You were a mere child when I went off to the war. And you still remember me? You're older. And you look tired.
first your father, your mother, and then your sister. And soldiers. And what happened then? Please, don't make me see that terrible thing again. You understand, my dear child, why I press you with personal questions. Are these the flowers you want, Monsieur? Camellias? Lilies of the valley? Gardenias? Princess. Princess Anastasia. Your Highness, come with me. Your Highness is nervous, tired. Yet your highness must acknowledge that she has all the features of a Romanov. General Molov. That girl is not the Princess Anastasia. She's clearly a mental case. I uh, should advise you to discontinue this idea. Or I shall be forced to notify the proper authorities. I respect your opinion and admire your judgment, Your Highness, but my faith in her is not shaken. I shall have experts test her mind. The moment I met General Muloff, I had a presentiment of danger. Probably it was only nerve. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>
And the girl on the bed. Well, I don't know whether she was asleep or dead. You see, they were right on my heels. And besides, I didn't want to be in bad taste, so I just took two quick looks. Are you always in such good taste? Oh, no. Only when I'm in a hurry. Yes? The Grand... The Grand Duke is killed. Cressy embankment. Third accident in this spot. In exactly the same way. We'll investigate at once. Get the cars. Who's in charge, Cressy? Lucien. Lucien, rope off the place. Hold the witnesses. No communications. Get the searchlights and the Bailey test. Come along, Renault. Strange coincidence. The Grand Duke just left Moloch. Witnesses, where the body? Down there. Come along. Is this the man you saw at the chateau? Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Count de Marseille. This was found on the chauffeur, this on the older gentleman, and these on the man in uniform. It's a lot of money for a French officer. Marseille. It's a wealthy family. Go right up and talk to General Moloff. Find a way to see that girl. But be very careful you don't make the general suspicious. made them swerve off at this point. The other car didn't skid. This is not a signboard. It looks like a moving picture screen. some keys and open this. Hurry up with those keys. Uh, could I be of any assistance? What do you mean? Uh, I think maybe I could open it for you. Thanks. You're welcome. That's a projection machine. And look, there's sound equipment. be no more cut flowers. Is that clear? I am not a man that tolerates what you have allowed to happen here. Money and jewelry are missing. That means there has been an intruder in my house. That is not to happen again. Is that clear? General Muller. I want to see General Moloff. No, come in at night. Yeah. 
Here's my card. You wait here. Yes, sir. They upsets her. All she needs is a rest. I shall stay with her. Don't make me see it again. You must be very tired. Good night. Good night. Mm. Flowers. Please, Leon. The opera. Eleven. Leon. 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 General. Stay here. General Molov, I am honored by a visit from the Surete. Sit down, please. I regret that my visit is occasioned by very sad news. The Grand Duke... Oh, His Highness! He was here early in the evening. Yes, his automobile met with an accident. I'm sorry to say he was killed. Oh, this is a terrible shock. I hardly know what to say. On the body of the Grand Duke was a communication for the Princess Anastasia that I am compelled to deliver to her personally. I dislike disturbing Her Highness at this hour. I understand perfectly. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I will prepare the Princess for this dreadful news and arrange for her to see you. Thank you. as quietly as I could, but the princess fainted. I'm afraid any more excitement at this moment would be dangerous. Under the circumstances, I'd better come back tomorrow morning. Get the motorboat ready. We are leaving by the secret passage. Have the car meet us at High Bridge. Telephone the airport immediately. Hurry. Yes, General. Sudaskari. Be ready for an emergency. Keep your eyes open. Stay close by. Go. Darling. He 
It was near this sewer that Lumsoy's body was found. Yes, sir. This must lead directly into the chateau. Why don't we go in the front way? I want to surprise Muller so he won't have a chance to destroy any evidence. Guard all the entrances. So you wanted to beat Molo. It will take more than the police of Paris to catch me. What a beautiful statue you would make. The most beautiful statue I have ever made. Ah, what a keen blade, eh? the first it is very peaceful it will not be like this for you however you see how quiet she is now how much like marble. I doubt you when you say that you're going straight, but we prefer that you do it outside of France. You have just two hours to catch your boat. Good luck, Madame Renault. Thank you. By the way, all the time that you were helping us, we noticed that various pieces of jewelry disappeared. We have a vague idea where they went. But would you mind telling me one thing? Let Why were the Count de Marseille's valuables left untouched? Well, monsieur, he was a Frenchman. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Au revoir, madame. Au revoir. <laughs> Monsieur Saint-Cyr, I never robbed Frenchmen, but I had to have a souvenir of our acquaintance. Commandant. Overtake that car, and be sure Reynolds doesn't miss the boat. Yes, monsieur. 